What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope you like this video. This is Marriage Boot Camp, Season 19, Episode 6. So, <clears throat> it's the next day. K. Michelle is still upset. Lyrica is still upset. And everybody goes downstairs for breakfast. Um, K. Michelle is downstairs. And Lyrica comes down or vice versa. Child, I don't even know. I don't even care. And they get to arguing to the point where Lyrica gets up and start throwing stuff and everybody's holding him back and the production had to come in and pull him apart and Dr. Ish had to come in to sit down and talk to them. So he goes to talk to Lyrica and basically Lyrica is like, well, I don't understand why y'all just won't let me fight her. Girl. Because we grown and that's not what we going to do here. Like, who going to say, all right, y'all just go ahead and fight? Like, girl. And she was like, well, she disrespected me, and she said this, and she said that, and, you know, ain't nobody gonna disrespect me, so I don't understand why y'all just won't let us just go ahead and fight it out. Then came, they talking to K. Michelle, and K. Michelle saying is, listen, at the end of the day, look, you know... This thing with me and Lyrica goes back to when I gave her an opportunity to open for me. She was late. She, you know, disrespected my fans, and I didn't appreciate it. And basically, me and her really ain't been in a good place ever since. Now, if you rewind and go back to Love & Hip Hop, they actually fought it out on Love & Hip Hop over this issue. Um, and she said, you know, at the end of the day, Lyrica be acting like she Beyonce or something, and she is not. Like... Girl, you, you ain't even charted. Like, your music ain't even charted. And then Lyrica is like, well, so what about my music? But she she knows I'm a good writer, and she wants me to write for her. And it's just, it's really ridiculous because at the end of the day, this all started over a damn phone. And I was really waiting for Dr. Ish to tell A1 and Lyrica that they were wrong to begin with, that that whole thing was set off because y'all were mad about K. Michelle having her phone, but K. Michelle did what production asked her to do, and that's why she had her phone. Now... I will say this, it does seem like K. Michelle has her phone more than everybody else. Um, but, and I'm not, this is just my opinion. This is me, this is my opinion. I do feel like they let K. Michelle have her phone more than anybody else. Um, I don't know if it's because K. Michelle is still under doctor's care and maybe she needs to be able to communicate with, you know, and you know, you got HIPAA stuff and all of that. I don't know. Or it could just be that K. Michelle negotiated something in her contract that y'all didn't negotiate. I mean, anyway. So, they go ahead and move forward with the, um, with the exercise of the day. Um, K, uh, uh, Lyrica and A1 decide not to participate. Um, which of course, everybody is like, that's just ridiculous. They're going against the, re the reason why they're here. Like, y'all are here for a purpose and y'all not doing it. So, it's sex day. So the first activity there, out by the pool, so everybody got on their bathing suits and they got on their pool gear and everything, and they roll the dice and the dice has a question and then they have to answer it. So Rich and um, Mariah, Mariah, their question is, I would like my partner to do more. And she was like, oh, that's easy. I would like for him to give me oral sex more. Like, I feel like I got to ask for it and I don't like the fact that I have to ask for it. You know, it makes me feel like you don't want to do it, but I don't never have no problem reciprocating, you know. So then he was like, well, what I would like is for you not to jump up as soon as we get done having sex, jump up and go take a shower. He was like, to me, you know, that takes away our intimate time, our cuddle time, and it just makes me feel like you think that it's just like, you know, I would feel some kind of way too about that. Like, I understand being clean, let's, let's be clear. But I would feel some kind of way about you just jumping up and running off. You know, I would feel some kind of way about that too. So they were able to talk that through. So then, um, K. Michelle and, um, Kassan, they, um, were talking about, um, um, the, 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 um, positioning. And, oh, no, that's the, no, they're talking about how open they are in the bedroom, how K. Michelle want to try everything. She was like, I like doing everything. Tie me up, blindfold me, choke me, whip me. Like, I want to do all of that. And, you know... He doesn't judge me, but at the same time, he ain't always, like, down for what it is I'm trying to do. Um, and then Gangsta Boo and Emmett, they were, um, theirs was getting into, um, what, um, what they feel like they're not getting from each other as far as the, the intimacy. And... You know, she wants to be adventurous, sort of like the opposite of K. Michelle. She wants to do different things, do different positions, and he ain't necessarily 
you know, always open to doing that. But she said the sex is good, it's just limited. So she's not saying that the sex ain't good, but she's like, it's just, it's just a little limited, you know. So they talk about what they really sort of learn from each other in that process. And, you know, Rich, I think, was the most um, open when he said that he really is, you know, really appreciating the process and he's really starting to really respect Mariah. And he's really, you know, realizing that this, of the, the connection that they have and how he really wants to try to figure this out and he's really open to it and how, you know, he's glad they came. Um... And he's really appreciative of the situ of the of the process, right? So Dr. Ish goes to talk to Lyrica and A1 because again, like I said, they didn't come to the activity. And he reminds them why y'all here. Like y'all have the most to fight for out of everybody here. Y'all have a son that's involved in this. And y'all are married and y'all are trying to save your marriage and be a, 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 a complete family for your child. Um, so y'all need to be all in. Like, forget K Michelle, forget what happened last night. Y'all need to be all in. Like y'all are missing important stuff right real important real important things so the rest of the crew is sitting by the pool and they're kind of basically having the same conversation they're talking about the fact that you know lyrica and a1 are missing this opportunity and how they're not you know opening themselves up to this process um rich goes to talk to lyrica and he tells her he said listen i'm gonna just keep it 100 like Y'all got the most to lose out of everybody, and y'all need y'all are the main ones that need to be in here. So basically, get your head in the game, like get your head in the game. And of course, Lyrica feels some kind of way that Rich has something to say to her, but I feel like it was coming from a place of love. Like I don't feel like it was coming from a place of judgment. But Lyrica can't, she can't take no kind of criticism. She can't. Anyway, if people ain't telling her she good, perfect, and right, she can't. She can't receive it. So next we have the puppets. Now we all know the puppet exercise where they have to mimic, they have the wheel and then they have to mimic whatever sexual position that the, the wheel comes up with. So what was funny was with Emmett and, I mean, with um, K. Michelle and, Cast and Castan, the funny thing about their puppet was that they had to mimic a position and he was like, oh yeah, we've done that before. And K. Michelle was like, we never did that. And she was like, that must have been somebody else because it wasn't me. Like, I never did that. And he was like, yes, we have. And she was like, no, we haven't. And then finally, Dr. Ish was like being, you know, being diplomatic and was like, well, maybe it wasn't with this particular prop because it was something with a chair. Maybe you did it with other things, a bathtub or something. But it's the same thing. It's just a different, a different, you know, um, position. And K. Michelle was like, okay, maybe that. But we ain't never did nothing with no chair. And I was like, girl, you are fun. Need it's a whole situation. Um, Lyrica and A1 did participate in the exercise, and Lyrica talked about the fact that she does enjoy having sex with A1, and it is fun, and she does miss being intimate with him. And I was like, okay, okay, we we getting somewhere here. We getting somewhere. Um, Mariah Lynn and Rich, of course, you know, I believe hers was his was oral and child it was way too much for me i didn't need to know all the things that y'all was doing with the with the dolls okay but again i feel like they i feel like they they learned something and they they everybody opened up and i can appreciate that so lynn tola comes in judge tola comes in and judge tola basically she sort of gives them a lecture on the whole fighting thing she was like listen at the end of the day i get it you know life happens we get frustrated we go through things she said but at the end of the day it is too much going on in this world right now. It's too many things going on with black folk right now to be out here fighting over a, a cell phone. Like, it is so stupid. It is so silly. Like, y'all have bigger fish to fry. And y'all have to be mature. And y'all have to move beyond that. And y'all have to learn how to communicate and use your words. And I think she did a really good job of shaming them without... She was, you know, she was kind of coming down on them without... I, I'm going to say she allowed them to... To, to keep their dignity, I guess. That's not the word I'm looking for, but she, I feel like she did that. But she really was giving it to them, though, and letting them know, listen, this isn't cute. This isn't cool. Like, this isn't acceptable. Like, y'all really need to chill out. Y'all really need to get it together. And at the end of the day, um, they were all like, you right, you right, you right, you right. And as soon as Judge Tola leaves, Lyrica, um, K. Michelle said, you know, A1, I want to talk to you because she was like, listen, I wanted to talk to A1 because I feel like between the two of them, A1 would be the easiest person that I would be able to have a conversation with. And Lyrica was like, if you talk to him, you can talk to me. Whatever you say to him, you can say it in front of me. 
And K. Michelle was like, okay, girl, damn, like, it's not like that. Like, I just wanted to talk to him, you know, um, about the situation. Well, whatever you got to talk to him about, you can talk to me about. You can talk to me about. Child. Then they get the, they get ready to get the fight again. And baby K. Michelle was trying to walk away. That shit was so funny. Lyrica was like, well, come beat my ass then. Come beat my ass then. Baby K. Michelle turned around and said, okay. <laughs> ah! Anyway, that's where the episode ended, child. I'm so over these people. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.